We are at Narasimha Swami Temple, Penchalakona. That's written as Om Sri Lakshmi. The Peninsula Lakshmi Narasimha Swami Temple is situated at the foot of a hill in the Penchalakona Valley. There is an image of the Lord represented as a self-manifested one, Swayambhu. Two stones are entwined to form a lion's head upon a man's body. There is an annual festival at the temple which is a major event in Penchalakona celebrated during Vaisakha, the period of time in the Hindu solar calendar that begins in mid-April. Devotees congregate for Narasimha Swami Jayanti to celebrate the occasion. Just adjacent to the Narsimha temple is the ashram of Amma Karnamahi. Yeroj ekade unna ra amma? రేపు కూడా డేట్ అండి లోపల 
Amma Shri Karunami is revered across the globe as an embodiment of divine motherly love due to the compassion and affection that she showers liberally and the charitable works that she has undertaken. Amma or Mother as she is affectionately called by her followers, is internationally revered as a living saint, humanitarian, peace leader, and spiritual teacher of a global scale. Uniting science and spirituality, Amma is widely sought after and speaks in venues across the world, sharing her visionary message of global unity sustainability in the new millennium and higher spiritual awareness. Born in 1958 in South India, Amma Shri Karunamai spent her childhood immersed in an atmosphere of prayer and worship created by her deeply spiritual parents. Both of her parents had received visions indicating that Amma Shri Karunamai was not an ordinary child and her astrological chart indicated that she would dedicate her life to serving humanity. She has been conferred with many awards in the US and Canada, including Golden Swan Award 2013, Golden Eagle Award 2012, and the US Congressional Citation presented to Amma in Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., July 2012. All these awards celebrating Amma Shri Karnamai's charitable work throughout the world. We were blessed that Amma was present in the ashram during our visit and on spotting us in the ashram, she even invited us to a session she was having with a closed group of her disciples. It was a two-hour session with Amma distributing prasad to us with her own hands. Today I really feel truly blessed. As Karunamaya Devi, she herself has given me this prasadam. We attended her classes and blessed us abundantly with her own hands, with her divine power. 